gentlemen, and welcome to Star Wars The Old Republic! Luke here. Once again. I just felt like doing some sort of announcer voice, I guess. Well, this is taking a long time to love. There we go. Usually it doesn't take that long. Face Melter. That is such a good name. Oh, man. Okay, we gotta hand this in. I am pleased to see you return from Kaleth. Forgive my impatience, but I would ask, did you power the machine chamber? Was there anything there? Um, I yes. found more than you ever did digging through dirt out here. We must each pursue our own methods. May I see what you have? Astonishing. This is a Tythonian data crystal. I've never seen one intact. This is a magnificent find, my friend. Do you know what it contains? A weapon. Knowledge. To help us defeat our enemies. A daring statement. I hope you speak truly. Now go. Achieve great things. I have my own humble mission to attend to. Like sucking? <laughs> he did kind of suck. Pants. Zabrak. That's what Darth Maul is. I just watched Star Wars uh, in 3D. The theater over the weekend. It's pretty good. Hey, we have mail. You've got mail. Oh, okay. What do I get? Bronzium Hydro Spanner. Well, I bet you T7 would like that, huh? You want that, buddy? T7, you want that gift? Alright, I'll give it to you. Here you go. You are my best friend. You're welcome, buddy. Okay, so we gotta go back to the temple. Let's fly on over there. Wait, I have quick travel. Even better. To the cantina. As I was saying, I watched uh, Star Wars The Phantom Menace in 3D over the weekend. Did you guys go see it yet? Are you going to go see it? I'd recommend it. It was good. I had to move once because the seats I was sitting in, we sat right in front of a family of chompers. That is one thing I cannot tolerate at the movies. Are people that sit there and just go... I just, right, right behind me, it's like right behind my head, I just want to turn around and punch him. Be like, oh my god! Learn how to eat like a freaking decent human being. You got a mouth breather. Sorry. Oh, it just, it's one of those things. It's one of my pet peeves. I can't stand it in movies. So I got up and I moved. And I hope they were like, wow. Get a load of that guy. What, a, what an idiot. What is this place? I've never even been in here. It looks purdy. Woohoo! Yay for purdiness. Anyways, I'm sure they were like, yeah, what, what a douche moving like that, but. They knew. They knew. So I moved to a quiet part of the theater. That was closer up, anyways. I had a better seat, anyways. It was a win win. Enough of my rant. Let's go to fleet. Let's bust on off this planet once and for all. We're going to the moon. Not exactly going to the moon. Going to the fleet. Exciting. It looks exactly the same as the Imperial fleet. I've already been here before. It's not much. Not much to look at. It's all right. Oh, one thing I will say about the new Star Wars in 3D. The 3D is not that great. I mean, it's okay. But it wasn't a movie made for 3D, so... They did what they could with it. And Jar Jar is still as annoying as ever. I think that movie would be perfect if you just eliminated him, all of his lines. He can be in it, just he can never speak. Master Orga speaks highly of you. He says you are the finest Padawan he has ever trained. That's true. The force flows through you. It gives you strength. 
you have the potential to be a great champion of our order. Not to gloat, but, first, but it is, you know, you I'm the best. You must learn to focus your ability. You must choose which path you will walk. I've already chosen my path. I'm not a Padawan anymore. It's a path my of training beatdown. ended on Titan. Knowledge is not finite. We must learn from birth until we become one with the Force. The Jedi are defenders of the Republic. In this role, we must accept our harsh truth. To preserve peace, we must often be warriors. Some warriors become scourges of evil, living weapons who serve the light. Others become stalwart defenders, guardians who protect and shield I prefer others. strength in combat. I got it. Transforming Move on. oneself into a living weapon. Sounds like a path yes, to me. a living weapon. Striking hard and fast is one way to defeat our enemies. Yet sometimes, shut up! I've already chosen. Indomitable resistance has value as well. Consider this decision carefully. Already chosen. But it will forever alter your destiny. I'm just kidding. I haven't really chosen yet. Be a guardian or a sentinel. Guardians are like tanks. I am kind of like a tank. I'm kind of beefy. But Sentinels get two lightsabers, so that's kind of cool. Let's grab this. Crafting! Social points! So you can get worthless crap that I'm never going to use. Okay, let's see. I gotta go down there to train up here to get crew skills. Hmm. Well, let's go. I'm gonna, I wanna go look. Consider what I consider my options. I was kind of leaning towards making, you know, like lightsaber crystals, but I don't know. I could make some big beefy armor. If I choose to be a tank, what do you think I, I should do? What do you guys think? Got any input? I don't really need to build guns. I'll let you guys read them if you want to. At least I get ex uh, <clears throat> at least I get experience for doing this too. So let's go through and I'll get a sneak peek of everything. So it's Monday, and tomorrow I will be doing an extra long episode of this. Oh, this works perfect because I just got the fleet. We can do um we can do the dungeon. There's a dungeon here. On oh, cyber tech. I forgot about. Make like ship upgrades and grenades and stuff. That could be fun, throwing grenades. I don't know. But there is a dungeon on on the fleet here. We can run through that. That'll be it takes a while to get through that. Ooh, biocam. Could make med packs and syringes to stab into my leg. This is artifice. This is the one I was thinking about. Could make color crystals and lightsaber hilts and stuff. Or powerful weapons. To crush, to crush our enemies. What else do we got? Oh, now it's probably just to the collection skills. For everything. We already went through all the crew skills. Well, what do you guys think? Should I, uh, should I become a guardian? Be a be beefy tank-like? Or should I go sentinel? I'm kind of leaning towards maybe going sentinel. Getting two lightsabers and slicing and dicing. Cutting people to pieces. Cutting limbs off. Cutting faces. Nuts. Butts. Nuts and butts. What? I don't know. This is a tough decision. But I'm going to have to decide it before we run through that instance tomorrow. And there are so many things to get. It's ridiculous. Could almost level up. Woo, guys, cheer up! We're having fun, we're hanging out. Hanging out at the mailbox, sounds like a lot of fun. I think there's no naked dancing gnomes. That'd be a tragedy. I used to do that all the time. I played a gnome in World of Warcraft. I would dance around naked on mailboxes all the time. My buddy. That I lived with at the time played a dwarf. He would do the same. It was ridiculous. Big old naked dwarf, naked gnome, running around. 
Creepy. We'd stalk people. It was amusing. For me, anyways. Alright. Looks like this is the trainers. Let's see what this guy has to say. Awkward silence. Hello, heavy armor. I am built like a tank. Bacon tank. You're gonna make me choose now? No. No! Well, I'll accept the quest, but I'm not gonna choose right now. I'm gonna choose at the start of the next one. You can check out the skill trees. So we got. I could still do damage. There's a couple of damage trees. I don't know if I'll do as much as a sentinel, though. Not sure how it's balanced. Hmm. Well, it's possible. It's a possibility. I think I'm liking this one better, though. Merciless slash. Yes, I like the sound of that. I am merciless. Blade rush. And this one, oh yeah, this one gets Hitaru for him. Hmm, that's tempting. I'm sure that does some massive damage. Well, let me know in the comments below what you think, what I should go with. What Glad you would go with. Skills with I mean, ultimately, it's up to me, but. We can spar anytime. I'll take some insight. I'll take your comments. I'll, I'll think about it. I'm gonna ponder this overnight, and then uh, tomorrow we'll run through. Or maybe I'll come. I don't know. Maybe I might have time to play later tonight. I don't know. I might do this later tonight, and then then I'll be ready to upload the big old episode tomorrow because that's gonna take some time to do. All right. Well, uh, on that note. Sorry, this episode probably wasn't that exciting. I've kind of been rambling and running around doing nothing. But that tomorrow we'll rock it out. We're going to do a really long episode. It's going to rock. So until next time, may the bacon be with you. Bye-bye. <laughs>